now let us discuss about csma protocol csma stands for carrier sense multiple access so carrier means transmission medium or communication channel or a channel so sensing means listening multiple access means multiple users can access the transmission medium so let we have a shared medium like this so this is nothing but our communication channel or transmission medium so let us assume that five devices are connected with the help of this channel so let we have five devices so here these five are called as devices or stations or nodes or users okay so this is about uh, what is csma uh, first let us see the basic principle of csma if any station wants to transmit the data then first the station has to sense the carrier so before transmitting the data the station has to sense the carrier so sensing the carrier means it has to check whether that communication channel is busy or idle so here let us assume that a wants to send some data to e e wants to send some data to a it is a random access protocol so any station can send data to any other station okay so first this station this a this is a station so this station will sense this carrier so that means it will check only this point so the entire communication line will not be checked okay suppose if e wants to send the data then it checks only this point so let us assume that here the communication channel is idle so if the communication channel is idle then the station can send the data so now the station let us assume that station is transmitting the frame suppose let the communication channel is busy then the station has to wait until the communication channel will become idle so if the communication channel is idle then only the station can transmit the data okay let us assume that e wants to transmit some data to a so e will checks the carrier this point the entire line won't be checked the entire channel won't be checked so let us assume that this is also free so now what will happen e starts transmitting a frame to a so here what will happen during the middle these two frames will be collided so we will get collision here so here also we will get the collision so here also there is a possibility of collision because of long propagation delay because of long propagation delay propagation delay so here uh, this frame has to reach to the e so it has to cover a longer distance so here also this frame has to reach it to the a so it has to cover to the longer distance so during the transmission we will get the collision so how we will resolve the collision so that uh, the performance will be improved so let's see that here so here we have three types or three variations of csma the first one is one persistent csma second one is non persistent csma third one is p persistent csma so before transmitting the data the station will sense the carrier if the carrier is free if the carrier is idle then only station can sense the data suppose if the carrier is busy so here what will happen is this is the time this is the time here let the carrier is busy then it it frequently checks it continuously senses the carrier so once again it will checks whether it is busy or not let this carrier is busy so once again it will checks let this carrier is busy so once again it will checks so here it continuously senses the channel so let us assume that this is nothing but busy so here this portion is nothing but the carrier is extremely busy so let us assume that the carrier is idle at this time so now sense and transmit 
so now the station came to know that the channel is idle here why because it is sensing the channel so now station can transmits the data so this is about one persistent one persistent csma so why it is called as one persistent because here the frames are transmitted with a probability of one we know that the probability value is from 0 to 1 so here whenever the station is ideal i'm sorry whenever the channel is ideal whenever the channel is ideal then the station will transmit the data with a probability of 1 so this is the maximum probability okay so whenever the channel is ideal what will happen the station automatically transmits the data with a probability of 1 so that's why we can call this as one persistent csma and the second one is non persistent csma so here also before transmitting the data uh, the station will checks the station will senses the carrier let the carrier is busy here what is happening uh, the corresponding station is sensing the carrier so let the carrier is busy so now what will happen is it will wait for a random period of time the station has to wait for a random period of time so it is waiting for a random period of time so once again once again the station is sensing the channel so let us assume that here also uh, the carrier is busy so now what will happen the station will wait for the station will wait for a random period of time so random period of time means let it be 30 seconds then this is also random period so it may be 40 seconds 50 seconds or 60 seconds okay so after some random period of time again the station again the station is sensing the channel so now let it is now let the channel is id let the channel is id so no, so now what will happen the station can transmit the data so this is nothing but the busy period so here also this part is busy period okay so here uh, the station is free the channel is free so the station can transmit the data okay so this is about what is non persistent csma and what is the third one is p persistent cma so here what will happen is the time will be divided into various slots various time slots okay so here also uh, the channel here also the station will senses the carrier first so let the station is let the channel is busy so if the channel is busy so then what will happen the station has to wait until until the channel will becomes ideal let the channel is ideal then the station will transmit the frame with a probability of p so whenever the channel is ideal then the station will transmit the frame with a probability of p and it will postpone remaining probability that is 1 minus p so let 1 minus p is nothing but q so it will whenever the channel is ideal then the station will transmit the frame with a probability of p and it will postpone q is equal to 1 minus p it will check for the next to free time slot next to free time slot so let the next to time slot is free let the next to time slot is free so then what will happen let it be the free as well as here the let it let the channel is ideal let the channel is ideal as well as time slot is also free then what will happen is the channel the station will transmit this one minus p that the station will transmit the frame with one minus p probability so likewise the process will be continued until the entire frame is sent so this is about uh, uh, csma protocol carrier sense multiple access protocol